Greetings, traveler. It's your boy, bad green screen man. Uh, I wasn't going to make a video about the Rings of Power because I wasn't going to watch it. I'm uh, probably still not. I've, I've been very disinterested in it. But I came across new new promo pictures. Um, and they came out a few days ago, but I only saw them now. And um, I, I was very critical of it. So I was thinking maybe I'm too critical of these images because I like the Lord of the Rings so much. So I asked my wife, who um, doesn't know anything about armor or, or, or anything like that. And I, I don't think she even knew that Rings of Power was a thing. I, I showed her this image that I'm, my face is in front of right now. Let me make myself smaller. Oop, there we go. I showed her this image and asked her what she thought. And she said, looks pretty bad. <laughs> Almost like cosplay is what she said. So I figured, okay, you know what? I'm justified in my criticisms. I uh, looked up some promotional material and... The armor and equipment, well, it, it all looks very cheap, just in general, which is disappointing, especially compared to uh, the Peter Jackson trilogy, which looks fantastic, you know. Um, but that's what this video is. I'm just going to... Uh, I got a bunch of pictures, pictures open here, so this is not going to be very edited very much. I'm just going to talk about them and, and put them on screen. So... I'm going to start with this. This is a, a pretty old one. I saw this a long ass time ago. Um, I believe this is Galadriel based on the armor. And what I really want to talk about primarily is the male. I have an issue with male in, in this show as far as it is presented. Because um, the rings of the male here. Can I zoom in a little bit? There we go. They are so, so small. Here, so small that it just it doesn't even look like like looking at a, at a different photo. This one, I think. Oh, this one. I glanced over this one somewhere on Facebook, I think, um, a while ago, and I saw this and I assumed that it was just cloth, you know, like wool or something to look like male because of how it falls. But if it's the same material as this, then it's not wool, but I doubt that it's metal. Because metal, the links of mail, it's heavy. It's, it weighs down on your arm a little bit, and it falls a certain way because of that. If you compare it to um, this, for example, it's not a high-quality picture. Let me zoom in a little bit again. There we go. Um, look at this. You can tell that there's a lot of padding underneath that arm, underneath the mail, and looking at how it folds right here, it's a, it's a thick roll, right? Which is what happens, because mail are, are links of metal stuck. It is flexible, you can fold it around, but there's a certain way that it falls. And this jungled mess of rings, I, I doubt very much that it's mail. Um, also, I don't know what these things are, the, the sort of extensions on, on, on the end here. Um, I assume that it is supposed to be like worn battle, battle damage, but it is so strange again because, let me zoom out, if we look at this picture right here, you can tell, if you look at her hand more closely, that that is just the design. Her the end of her male shirt is is ruffled, just like down here it is ruffled, and I don't get why. I think that is just a design choice that they made because, I mean, look at our boy Aragorn, for example, right? Aragorn is is wearing a male shirt here. This is when he's on his way to the Black Gate, I think. Not sure. Um. This, this, this line here where, where his sleeve stops is straight. It's all smooth. And this is not a perfect, um, a perfect male shirt either because th there's some damage here. There's, there's a link missing here if you look closely. Zooming in again. There we go. See, there's a link missing here. There's a, a split over here where, where some links are gone. But you can tell that this was made to be straight, which makes sense. Why, why would you make it to be anything else? And now this hand, I'm in front of it. 
there in the bottom. It's just, it's, it's just a mess. I don't understand why they made it look like this. It just, it, it looks messy. Same with this um, stuff, these, these ruffles. The mail is so, so thin that it, it just, it looks like a shirt. It looks like a t-shirt. I don't know why they have these, these folds, ruffles over what seems to be a more straight type of mail. But it, it looks really odd. Oh, oh yeah, I think there's an extended piece right here that goes over another piece of mail. For, for some reason. And it, it's strange. Um, because usually a male shirt is in structure akin to a dress, I guess you could say. It's, it's like a shirt that is just extended a bit if, it, if it's longer, right? If it drapes over your legs like this. And that means there's at the bottom a circle, which is about as wide as this. That, you know, that's, that's how it's, it's, it's limited. It doesn't drape down. It isn't a loose flowing thing. It's, 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 it's flexible, but it's one solid ring. Solid. It's a ring. When you see stuff like this, to have your mail draped down like this in such a messy, jungled way, it's very strange. Because if you're wearing a male hauberk that extends over your legs a little bit, and you spread your legs out and let it hang, it would still create an even arc of mail. It's so... All of this up here is just loose hanging... Loose hanging links that I don't understand. And this, it might be damaged, or it might, it, maybe it's supposed to be damaged, but it looks strange because you got like an extension here, which is just one link deep. You know, male gets its strength from being links linked together, like circles that are, are linked together, right? And there's some holes here, some ruffles, but like this extension is just a single small chain of, of male. It makes no real sense. And going back to our boy Aragorn. Right here, different picture, different scenario. This was um, during battle of Helm's Deep. Um, this is damage from, from the battle. You can see here that it's been split. There's uh, some links missing here. There's some links missing there. Um, that happens during mail or, or during battle if you wear mail. Uh, links get split. It, it breaks. They snap. Or you replace them, right? You repair it. But you can still tell that this was straight before. Right, because that's where the sleeve stops. It it makes so little sense to have it ruffled this way. It is it is odd, very odd. Her gauntlets um, bother me as well a little bit in this picture because normally the gauntlets have a bit of a cuff that um, is wide so that this piece of armor fits in there and it overlaps so that you don't have these these gaps that you know are, are vulnerable um to attack what's underneath here i'm they, they might be gloves it, it might also just be a shirt i don't know because in this picture you can tell that her her male um comes out of her sleeve uh, where's my mouse there it is here you can tell that her male is is it comes out underneath her armor right there um, which is not required. I think you don't really need chainmail um, underneath a plate of armor on your arm like that. But here, you can tell that that's not the case. Um, so what I think happened is they put her in this position and didn't think she looked cool enough. So they put these, these uh, arm plates on her to, to give it a bit more variety in the image. Um, which does make a lot of sense because gen I don't have enough information to go on. So maybe because this, this is just a picture. But generally, this piece of armor is attached to that, which is attached to this, which is attached to that. And all of that gets attached to your breastplate with just a simple strap. So uh, this might be different. It's not the same as like uh, this, which is just um, a single fan brace piece that is strapped to your arm like that. So, um, in my experience, many um, people that own armor just keep the whole arm part together. They don't um, separate it, and they just put it on like a sleeve that they just attach at one point. So, I'm not sure. This is not attached to anything. 
if she would stand up these things will will fall down and start dangling so this is just a, a, a posed position that doesn't really make a lot of sense and also <laughs> very noticeable to me at least is that she's wearing leggings right here you can tell zooming in again it's ruffled here you can see the the plies from from these from this these leggings that are just hugging her her, her you know legs there's ruffles here as well it's pretty clear that this is plates or su supposed to be plates i'll get to that in a second but there's ruffles down here and there's ruffles down here she's just wearing leggings that are made to look like scales you know they're printed to look like scales and i have a real problem with movies skin wrapping and people it's it's it doesn't just happen to to women it also happens to men you know, costumes and armor everyone is always obsessed with having everything strapped as tight as possible but if you look at medieval period and this stuff of the sort most clothes are very loose everything hangs loose it's really this this tight ramping of the, of the legs it's just uh, it, it, it bothers me and it, what's also strange about it is why do they give her leggings that look like plates if it could just be you know normal pants trousers just it's it's okay to not have a a, a leg plate that encloses your leg it's not uncommon so why don't you they just give her you know actual pants to wear instead of leggings that they're supposed to look like armor from a distance and then have this super high definition close-up picture of it it's just strange it is just strange more strange back to this picture um right here i hope that someone can can prove me wrong but i highly doubt that this is metal it looks painted and i say this because um in larp when i was younger um i i found a picture a very old picture of myself here we go um i was just played just an npc this helmet uh, that i wore was it was a foam helmet and it was painted to, to look like metal this is not a, a, a great quality picture so it might be hard to tell but the way that this looks is incredibly similar to the way that this looked. It, it's that's the first thing that I thought of when I saw it. I was like, I, I got the texture in my mind of like the the foamy, hard foamy sort of thing that this helmet was made of, and there's like scratches on it, uh, fake scratches to make it look like it was used. Right now, I don't think that this is foam, but. It, I'm pretty sure it's not metal. Like, if, if, if this is metal, then I owe all of you guys 69 cents. Because I, I highly doubt it. I, I'm pretty sure this is, like, painted synthetic material, some plastic, something like that. Right? Um, that's everything about Galadriel. Oh, no, wait. Over here, you see that the male is, is draping over her uh, spolder somehow. Don't know why or how that happened but again it's all very baggy very loose uh it doesn't make an awful lot of sense and next one aragorn no uh, this one right oh uh, gosh um this is the picture that made me want to make this video because right off the bat here you can tell that this is just a t-shirt she's wearing like scale male or a, a breastplate i don't know because you know the it is um a fe feminine shaped harness but i'm not sure if that's just her shape or if the harness is pre-shaped i don't know if this is supposed to be scale male or if it's supposed to be a breastplate that just has scales on it for decoration i'm not sure they do really like the scales um because she's wearing a t-shirt with scales on it right right there let me let me zoom in some more again yeah, can you see that? That is so obviously a t-shirt. You can see how it like folds over here. It it looks 
so so cheap and this is the close-up that they chose for their promotional material uh, it is really it's bad i have a problem with um, scale mail in general in fantasy it was historically not used that much for good reason it's not that good and usually when i see scales on tv or in in uh, games i i automatically think like oh, it's cheap ish looking right but this just makes all of that worse because this these are not real scales and by extension these are not real scales and that makes me just wonder about all of this like what is real scales are these real scales i doubt it i honestly doubt it um looking at theoden for example where where is he where's theoden right here theoden is scales and how can you tell that these are real scales well quite simply look at how it folds over his leg over the horse they're all uneven you know they're all messed up on this side here's a patch that's more straight and there's some sticking out on this side because that's what scales do they you know they move um going back to this picture so what can i tell which is which is well, well this seems pretty real to me like over here and then there's some ruffling there so this one might be might be real this i have my doubts uh, Doubts over, to be honest, because this looks just like painted. It looks painted. It's like it's spray painted. Um, and also, when it comes to to this having a shirt underneath it, if you're not gonna armor the person underneath their their plate armor, then just don't. Because I had I had difficulties with Theoden as well. I think I've said it before that Theoden didn't wear any armor or underneath his plate that this was open there was no mail even though people of rohan do do that if you look at eomer for example right here or this not that one this picture right here you can count each and every link of mail that he has on his armor you can very clearly see each and every individual link of mail right theoden doesn't have any mail this picture um but you can see that that arm is thick, it's padded, all right? It's, it's not a gambeson, but it's, it's, it's clear that there's lots and lots of cloth right there. Uh, yeah, here that's just nothing. These are very skinny woman arms with no further protection, which is also fine. You can go for a more like ancient look, right? With, with just breastplates and no, not a lot of arm protection. But then just do that. <laughs> or I would say if you do make, you know, have a, have a shirt underneath it to, to, to make it look like more armor, don't make it the same as, as the breastplate because the contrast of how this looks is just so obvious. Also, again with the male, why isn't it male? Because I'm pretty sure that this is supposed to be male and it, it suffers from the same thing as, as um, this thing right here is that it's just too, too thin. It is so so light that it, it honestly it's it's obviously not metal. I have no idea what it is, what it is supposed to be, but I doubt that it's metal. And why can't this also be up there? You know, they did it in the Lord of the Rings. So why didn't they do it here? Um, what else? So this scabbard looks very plastic, but uh, for for another time. So what else do we have here? Oh yeah, here. And uh, army, soldiers, well, right off the bat, I would say that everything looks the, the same on all of these guys. Look, I, I really do like this helmet, by the way, I should say, the, the, the crest with the horns, it, it looks neat. Um, oh, I think I forgot to mention with Galadriel, there's actually something that I like, and that is the fact that her waist seems to be at a better height than the wastes of the armor in, in Lord of the Rings. M many um, reconstructions and in movies, they very often have the waist link of your breastplate too low around your, your hips, which is where we nowadays wear our belt. In the medieval period, people wore their belt around their waist. And uh, a breastplate needs to have a sort of a, a, a dent over there for you to be able to bend over properly. And usually reconstructions don't do that very well. And you can see it with Theoden, where is he? Right here. You can see it a little bit that he's kind of being choked by his armor. Um, there's other ex examples of it, but I didn't um, pick them out. 
But Lord of the Rings is not a, an exception where the breast armor is more or less too too straight and too long. Uh, for, so it kind of ends up choking you if you bend forward and these things. Um, that being said, though, in this image, all of that, you know, is gone. <laughs> all of that is not true. Um, my God, everything is one color. All of this, this, this texture is just the same. Going back to Eomer, look at this variety. You might say that I shouldn't compare it, but it's it's the same world, so I definitely should. Look at that. You got the male over here, and then you got this breastplate, which is, I believe that it is um, metal with leather, leather decorations on top of it. And it all looks fancy, but different, and styles, and this is just awful. Awful. And it wouldn't bother me if it was awful, if it was actual armor. Because then I'd just be like, okay, you know, a difference in, in, in design choices, I suppose. But here's the thing. This is the same character as before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's the same person. So these are just soldiers, I think, uh, from where, again, I, I haven't watched any of the trailers. I don't know anything about anything. But I am pretty sure that this sleeve is cloth. It's just a thick cloth that has a pattern on it to make it look like scale armor. Similar to this, um, but well, at least I would like to say that it, it looks a bit thicker, so it could be Gambeson, but why don't you just have them wear Gambeson then? Why make it, try to make it look like this plate because it's not, and here you can see that they, they sort of seem to have a, um, a, a, a gap right there very very little gap see so you got this plate right here and then you have a slight opening right there and then what should be a shoulder plate and what should be you know the arm plate somewhere there's a gap here which um sort of uh, the guy on the on the right shows it pretty well but you can really show it right now there's a gap which shows just a shirt underneath it so what's the issue with that I don't I also don't know what this band is supposed to be. I'm assuming that is um the, the leather band that usually attaches your spolder to your arm, like our boy Eomer has right here. Um but it doesn't really seem to be in the right spot for that. Because the spolder stops there. I don't know. It is very odd. If you look at it closely, I don't know if you can see it well on the video, but you can you can look these images up yourself if you just look up like rings of power. Um art or, or rings of power uh, production photos or some, something like that. Look at it closely and tell me that that is not cloth because I am pretty sure that this is just cloth, which is sad. Um, I will also say that I, I think that these are supposed to be the ancestors of the Gondorians, but they look very Rohan-like, something else. Uh, what more is the reason that I think that this horse armor right here is plastic is because of these because of this image each and every one of these looks exactly the same photocopy it's like they're 3d printed but, but honestly it is it is strange like i i don't mind actually you know usually there's there's two kind of style that people go go through when they go like fantasy armies they have like an imperial style where everyone every soldier looks the exact same or they have like a viking style where everybody it's just a, a mix of whatever people can find and um, i'm assuming they would they're going for the imperial style and have everybody look the exact same which i actually think is cooler i, I like that more but not everyone is going to take this exact same care of, of all of their equipment you know like things happen things get scratched and not even talking about damage, these horse armor things look the exact same every single time, except this one, which just look, looks painted a different color. It, honestly, it, it, it makes it look fake. I, I read something about a critic saying that um, the trailer looked very CG, and they counter critic that by saying, well, well, actually, it was all made real, so you're just dumb. Well, that's the thing. These kind of things make it look fake. 
because they're all they're machine made you can tell like no human has touched these things in in the production except for maybe painting it but i'm pretty sure they're spray painted as well so uh it is just not very good it's 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 pretty awful do i have anything else oh yeah this picture well i only want to talk about this guy i have no idea who he is but my god um this breastplate it looks weird <laughs> it, it looks like they were going for like a muscle armor like spartan style right but it doesn't work well it look it is so straight it is so wide at the back it looks like a back plate it looks like the back of a cuirass not the front it's like he's wearing his armor backwards do we have images of that no but okay i would like to say that armor or clothing just in general tells a story all right and as an example i picked out this picture of faramir and boromir this is beautiful all right you can tell by their style that they're close in the same area that they're brothers and you see boromir here is wearing plate harness all right uh, he's wearing mail you, where you can count every individual link personally well faramir here is wearing um, it looks like a leather um a leather piece over a gambeson and and a in a razor right here perfect for a ranger right you can tell that these people are similar but different in many ways what is this <laughs> what does this tell you well it, it tells me that um i think he's ready for battle because he's wearing a breastplate but he's not wearing anything else in a world where you know full harnesses exist this guy just chooses to walk around with a chest plate and nothing else oh and he has uh he has uh, fan braces on well they sort of seem like they're backwards like, he, he looks ready um but is he is this just his casual attire it, that's confusing because in the lord of the rings people generally didn't wear armor unless they were going to battle you know aragorn only wore his, his armor only wore this stuff when he was going to battle we saw him put on this this male shirt and they made a joke about it about it where gimli was too short for it you know otherwise he wouldn't wear any of this stuff is this just his normal attire i am confused oh and she is she has the scales so maybe that's just a design choice maybe that's just fashion Right here, these scales. Look on her, on her, on her belly. It's not armor at all. That's that's the that's the reason. So, uh, yeah, it looks it looks awful. It looks cheap. It looks uh, very bad. And I wasn't gonna watch it, but uh, now I'm even more not gonna watch it. So, thank you for joining my quest, and I hope you'll join me in the next one someday. Bye, guys.